I've been studying law for all four years here at Arcadia. I visited the Supreme Court in the past. Um, Sonia Sotomayor is really an inspiration to I think a lot of people, especially people who are aspiring in legal areas. Just listening to her story and, and understanding how her perspectives have shaped um, her legal opinions and how that has really transpired um, in the Supreme Court. Just knowing that I could be a part of that and kind of get some of those more personal answers that you're not necessarily gonna get by reading a bio of her. I think that was really um, what excited me the most about this experience. It was really nerve wracking. I was excited that she answered my question. Uh, I went over my question about 50 times in my head before I asked her. I wanted to make sure that it was an approved question and I was really happy with her answer and it was great to get to know her in a more spiritual way. Uh, I know that as uh, a Supreme Court Justice, she has to rely on her logic more than her spirituality, but it was nice to see that side of her. I was absolutely ecstatic. Um, actually, by some coincidence, I saw um, once Arcadia released that uh, the Justice Sotomayor would be coming to speak here. I like saw it the day it happened, and I was immediately emailing professors saying, "How do I, how do I get to see her speak? Like, what do I have to do?" Um, and so when I found out I could be part of this question and answer session, I was absolutely ecstatic. <laughs> I kind of messed up and didn't respond because I figured, uh, who am I to, to come and uh, and, and uh, witness this event? And uh, I felt very honored that uh, someone that. Uh, my professor thought that much of me to, to think that I would deserve to come here. So, you know, very humbling, very honored. One of the things that she shared with us today was the importance of being a lifelong learner, recognizing that even beyond your graduate studies, that opportunities through your professional life and also your personal life present <laughs> new challenges that would necessitate the need to continue to learn and to can you continue to grow. Something I really took away that if you you have to diversify like don't be afraid to try anything new um, especially when it comes in college we try to it's like self-discovery so try to learn new things maybe take a class that you wouldn't that's outside your major to try to better yourself as a person and grow more intelligent know more about the world I got the chance to ask her a question about like the the issue with personal agency in regards to culture because being Puerto Rican our culture we're really proud and she was just saying how like it's good to promote and to be proud of it but you don't have to be part of a Hispanic group to, ne to necessarily be like loud and proud that you can just be loud and proud of your own that your community is with you all the time you don't have to be under this name or that name like you just you're there and the fact that you're there shows you and where you come from and that's enough I hope to pursue law I hope to go to law school so as a woman a woman going into that field I'm still very male dominated so it was just uh, very nice to see that there's like that inspiration there you know um, some woman who was able to get to the top um, despite all of the hurdles she had to jump which even more than I've had to so far so it was just absolutely amazing I think the biggest takeaway that I took from the conversation um, was her conversation on how you measure personal success it was a question that I had asked her um, given such a competitive period in our lifetime and we're all kind of trying to find our way through and really what she was trying to get across was don't be set your, set your goals on one specific objective, set your goals at the task at hand and then your success will come along the side of that. And I think that's something that I really took away and um, will really influence where I go from here as a senior looking in the job market, looking for graduate school. Um, it's definitely something that's going to influence my decisions from here on out.